All right, so in my last video, I started talking about Vesper theory, which basically says that the electron groups around a central atom are going to repel each other and space themselves out as far apart from one another as possible. So we saw that when we apply Vesper theory to two electron pairs around an atom, that gives rise to a linear geometry uh, with three electron pairs, that is a trigonal planar geometry, and then with four electron pairs, we have a tetrahedral geometry. So in this video, we're just going to continue, and uh, we're going to start with five electron pairs around a central atom. So what does that shape looks lo look like? Well, that shape looks like this. Um, so let me just uh, briefly explain this picture and what's going on here. These three electron groups, this one, this one, and this one, they all lie in the same plane, which is nearly perpendicular to this board. Uh, it's not exactly perpendicular. It's tilted a little bit so that you can see it. But just imagine that this plane is about perpendicular to the board. The three groups that lie along this plane, these are called equatorial positions or equatorial groups. The other two electron groups lie directly above and below the plane that is formed by the equatorial groups. And these are called axial groups or axial positions. Interestingly enough, uh, the angles between the electron groups are not all equivalent. The angle between two equatorial groups, so say the angle between this group and this group is 120 degrees, while the angle between an axial group and an equatorial group is 90 degrees. This shape is what we call trigonal bipyramidal. Trigonal meaning three-sided, bipyramid meaning two pyramids. Uh, basically, you have two pyramids that share the same uh, three-sided face. So trigonal, bipyramidal, five electron pairs. So now let's move on to six electron pairs, or six electron groups, excuse me. Because they don't have to be pairs. They could be double bonds. They could be whatever. All right, so uh, let me just briefly explain uh, this picture here. Um, this time we have a uh, four equatorial groups. So these four are all equatorial groups. And uh, as in, just like when we did trigonal bipyramidal, there are two axial groups. So this shape is what we call octahedral. And the angles between any two of these groups, they are all 90 degrees. So the angle between these two is 90, although it may not appear that way on my drawing here. And the angle between these two is also 90 degrees. Between any two of them, all these electron groups are equivalent in an octahedral arrangement. So that does it for the five basic shapes. Um, in the next video, I'm going to uh, start talking about the effect of lone pairs and how lone pairs uh, affect the geometry, uh, the overall molecular geometry of any given molecule. 
So um, keep an eye out for that. And uh, all right, peace.